Man, I can't believe they hired that tiny Tony guy again. I can't stand his food. Well, at least it'll be an epic vacation. You must be the new guy. I'm Prometheus. Don't call me that. Anyways, you should come meet everybody inside. Let's go. Give me the knife. No. No, no. Give me the knife. No. Alright, that's really sharp. Put it down. No. Right? Put it down. No. Not on the floor. Put it on the counter. Put the there you go. There you go. Oh hey. You must be the new friend. That's Nicole. I'm Tony. They call me old Tony. I'll be your chef for the trip. Tell you what, you go and relax. I'll make you some good food. Gotta do it the old fashioned way. Is that my uncle taught me, you know? Go. Hey guys, guess what? I found pineapple pizza. You disgrace my time heritage. This freaking devil pizza. Grow a spine and suck it up. It means you won't have to cook. Would you like pineapple or pepperoni? I swear to God, bro. There's pineapple in this. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Definitely you. Maybe you too. I will probably kill you. Bro, you came from Craigslist. You're not gonna get paid if you keep complaining. Go back and do your job. I stand for pineapple. Well, you know what? Just maybe, if you didn't eat that garbage, you'd live up to your name, Mr. Walker. Everybody calm down. Anyways, we're here to have a good time. So let's enjoy it. Guys, I, I was about to drop a log, right? And I see Stan's body just passed out like he is out. You guys need to come see this. You weren't kidding. I'm pretty sure he's dead. How, how can you tell he's dead? I mean, look at him. How, how can you tell? Hold up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he, he's dead. Um, at least he won't be needing this anymore. God, he's dead. Is he actually dead? Better him than me, I guess. Let's go check on him. I'll just stay here and uh, just check around the area. Yeah, I'll stick around with you in case you do anything suspicious. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry I have to see you like this. I know you're close to Stan, especially after the incident. Actually, wait, didn't you see him near at all in the end of the party? You were in the hallway. Man, I just remembered. Service is really spotty up here. Okay, so what are we supposed to do now while we wait for service? I don't know. I, I just saw Stan's dead body and I made fun of it. I'm seriously stressing out. I, we can't even call the cops now. 
fine. Let's go see what the others have to say. So, I just found out that our fallen friend Stan has died due to poisoning. How did you find that out? Well, I just checked with internal temperature here, and it shows a um, big number. How did you check the internal temperature? Tony helped me out. Is it poisoning though? Could be, but I don't know. When we were looking at him, he had a pretty gnarly bruise on the back of his head. So that might indicate something. How about we just ask who the killer is and why they did it? You really think the killer's just gonna come out and explain his plan? Like how it is to make a perfect pizza, he's gonna explain step by step how he killed everyone. Hmm, good point. Well, I mean, the killer can't be Tony. He tells me very smart things after all. So I think it was either Bro or Nicole. You're accusing the people who brought you into this summer home. Do you recognize how disrespectful you're being right now? So tell us why you're not the killer. Hmm, that seems very convincing. Well, I mean, if it isn't you, who else could it be? I mean, for all, for all we know, it could be me. D me? Bro, why would you think it's me? <laughs> you know, honestly, I can kind of see it. I mean, you are kind of like... What? Unstable? Yeah, that's just pretty much what I was going to say. <laughs> Starting to become a little too much for me. It's terrible, bro. Why would you do this? His injury changed him too much. I had to get rid of him, but with the Bromethium pills. They screwed it all up. Where are the pills now, bro? Where are they? I had to get rid of them before any of you guys noticed. I did it to save him, to put him out of his misery. Somebody go try to contact the police. I just realized that bro was lying about the service here the whole time, and we can still call them, so I'll take care of him. Get out of my way, you mook. What he said, mook. That's fine. I'll take care of those two later, but now you two, I'll have you both know. I've been training two weeks in karate. I'm practically a master at this. So, please, come and try. Ow, oh, uncle, uncle, uncle. I lied! Oh, no. Uh. Good job, guys. We defeated Bro. You didn't even help that whole time. You just stood there, didn't you? Well, not exactly. I, I hit him with a plant. And not to mention, I helped out Tony. Um, at least I tried. He said like we didn't need two people to call the cops. And then he got even more mad at me when I suggested that we had no idea what 911, like how to call, what the number is. Speaking of 911, I called the cops. We'll be here shortly. So you mean to tell me that your friend went crazy, poisoned your other friend, and pretend to act like it was fine? Yeah, pretty much. All right then. Let me go. The fact that you guys arrested me for easing the pain of a friend. The easing the pain of a friend. And I'll be back to get all of you. I know I'm dumb and all, but I don't think you're an actual policeman. You are pretty dumb, but you, you think I'm an actual chef? I haven't cooked once this entire trip. Oh, oh, I got the officer's badge though, here you go.